Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 8 of Darwell20's Modern Skyblock 3 series. Time to make some gold. It's time to make some gold. That's the plan for right now. Uh, so to make that, I need two glowstone and one wheat. Uh, and you can see I've primed it so that I'll definitely get double. So one wheat, two glowstone to get gold. And I want to make as little of this as possible for now. Uh, because I want to get to the good part uh, of things. So then I drop this in here, and I'm not sure... So this is where things get funny in this pack. It's not always, um, you know, five ingots to one process. Uh, when you look at this, it tells you what the output is, I think at 100% speed and efficiency. So you'll get one and a half at 100% speed efficiency. Uh, iron, uh, for example... Uh, let's do alchemical coal or alchemical dust, right? Iron is about four at 100% speed and efficiency, right? So you got to look at this multiplier here to figure out how much of a resource you're going to get. Like copper is a really high number. Uh, tin is about the same as iron. Silver is a little bit less. Zinc, right? So you can see all these numbers uh, that mean things, right? So basically gold, you get a little less than half of it per craft. Right, so you can see here it's cooking down. So we threw two pieces of dust in there, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and we might see soon how much we get. We might get enough. Come on, one more. I'm not going to make it, am I? Nope. Almost, but not quite. But we got four pieces of gold, so that's cool. Um, and now for what we've been waiting for, tertius alchemical coal. So alchemical fusion, gold plus three glowstone will get me alchemical gold. Right. So gold... And make sure you're at the doubling point, right? So that should be cool. So we should get double of that. Nice. Beautiful. Um, and then for Tertius, we need one of these, two Lapis and two Glowstone. So let's go get our Lapis. Now I'm pretty sure we're still at the doubling point, but let's burn glass just to be sure. So like one piece of glass. We should get two sets for this. Correct. And then I'm going to throw one more piece of glass in there to burn the 100% range. Right? So we only got one set for that. Now we can do you, you, and you, and we should definitely get double for this. For tertius alchemical dust. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, now what I'd like to do is grab my Segundus, take it out. I'm going to burn a bunch of gold so that we burn through this fuel source. So we're burning through that piece of Segundus that we just used the last bit of a moment ago. Um, and we'll just burn through it all with as much glass as we can until we run out. Right? And then we're going to throw Tertius in there. Cool. Quest updated. Tertius. Claim the loot box. Woot! Rainbow bricks. Okay, cool. Thing that I don't really know if I need or not, I guess. They have some EMC to them. Pretty sure you don't get into using EMC for like a billion years in this pack. So don't get excited about seeing the terms EMC on things. Because it's going to be a long way uh, before we get access to anything EMC wise. So let's give this a try. You ready? So with 450% on Segundas, it should be the first craft that we make. Uh, in fact, I'm going to even like, maybe I should just broken you, right? I could do that and replace him. And I bet he'll reset his internals. Yeah, totally reset now, right? Um, so the first set from Tertius will get you four. And the second set from Tertius will get you five. Right? So let's give this a try. So the first set, I should get four sets of glass. One, two three, four sets of glass, and a half. Now the next set, I'm going to do this. One, two, one, two. This should get me five. One, two, three, four, five sets. How cool is that? How cool is that? I like that a lot. Cool? I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and we could like burn some glass again. One, two, three, four. And we always need more of this crystal shard stuff. Um, and then we could get, this was what, three glowstone? Right. Um, I'm going to hold off on making any more of that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But like now if I wanted to, I'm going to throw the wheat in here too. You're going to kind of be like sort of kind of this thing that makes stuff. I need to get more gunpowder. Um, hey, endermen that are chilling under my tree in the rain. What's up, guys? Um, I did not get more gunpowder between episodes, and I probably should have. 
That probably would have smart move, but uh, I'm not that smart, so I didn't. Uh, let's get another miscellaneous junk chest. Right. Uh, Batwing. So I'm going to try and put stuff in here. Yeah. So you're a mob drop. As are you, by the way. You can be more miscellaneous junk chest stuff. And this is technically a resource, so I'll hang on to it like that. Cool. Um, and then, ooh. Spawn Agitator. When placed on mob spawners, the spawner agitator will prevent the spawn enemy from despawn when the player leaves the area. Cool. Mob farm. Super cool. I like that. That actually sounds like a really useful thing to have. I like it. I already had one, but now I have two. Alright, cool. Um, why are you doing such a bad job of spawning mobs? Like, you're super dark, and I've been chilling in this general area. You should have spawned a lot of mobs. Like, a real lot of mobs. And at the beginning of the series, I was spawning, like, a stupid number of mobs in here. And now I'm spawning, like, nothing. So what's up with that? There's not, like, a spot where mobs are spawning and taking up the spawns, is there? Because we basically got, like, nothing by way of gunpowder. We've got one dude here. And that makes me a little bit sad. I get everything. So yeah, I don't know what the deal is with mob spawns. I could probably just stay there, but no. Uh, that was a derp, so I'm going to remove it. Cool. Uh, so yeah, let me come back in a minute. Maybe I'll just like close the game and reopen it and see if that has anything to do with fixing the problem we're having. So we'll come back in a minute once I've closed and relaunched the game here to see if that helps with mob spawns a little bit. Relogged, we'll see if more mobs spawn in there. Came over to my farm, harvested things, got soul gem potatoes. Today I learned potatoes have a soul. Okay. Well, that's cool. Sorry, potatoes. I'm still going to eat you, though. I hope you don't mind. You're delicious. Soul or no soul, I'm still eating you. Okay, just so we're clear on where we stand, potato. Uh, so, let's wait for mobs to spawn because I totally need more gunpowder. And this was like a little nifty, tricky way to get gunpowder. Probably not yet. Uh, that would be useful for me. Although creeper hearts turn into six gunpowder. I had a storm, huh? Charge creeper drop, gotcha. Uh, so that's a neat way to get gunpowder, um, and then nitrate and sulfur, right? There's small amounts of gunpowder from that, and creeper essence. Uh, but yeah, we just have to- oh yeah, look, there's definitely more mobs in there already, so that's kind of a good sign. So I'll let them, uh, spawn for a minute. I'll probably kill them a little bit. Uh, I presume that I probably can't get fortune or anything on my, my thing yet, uh, until I get more lapis, which will probably be a little bit. So, uh, let's come back in a minute once I've gotten more mob drops. I want to just farm mobs a little bit. And then uh, we'll check out what's next on the quest docket. Cool? Because I'd really like to be able to automate this mob farm if I may. And uh, I don't think I can yet. I'll look into that a little bit too. Like, I know spikes are blocked. and I have to imagine if wooden spikes are blocked, he doesn't want me automating the mob farm yet. So I have to assume, therefore, that all forms of automation of the mob farm are also blocked. Hey, Woot! I just got oak saplings from... Uh, From a chest. From a loot bag. That's cool. I'll take it. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna break all of you, because I only want I only want oak saplings from now on. That's cool. I'm down with that. Alright, nice. Alright. What else did I get here? Anything else good? Soinks. I made an advancement to diamonds! Woot! That's cool. Some more runes. Another one of you, and Yori is technically a resource. Red bones, I'll throw that into the mob drops. You can go in there, you can go in there. Hey, I got the last of Batania, that's nifty. Cool. Alright, uh, I got that. Nice. And let's clear out. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna hang on to this stuff in here for the time being. Because you know what else I want to do is I want to open up my little bags. I'll do that off camera too. See, I can't even make vector plates yet. They are restricted. Womp womp. I need dark utilities? Dark sugar? Okay, cool. 
Okay, good to know. Uh, back to looking. So FYI, totally relogging solved whatever was gumming up the works in here. I don't know why logging out and logging back in, but my mouse spawner mobs are spawning way more quickly now, which is nice. So more more killing of all the things. Hey, cool! One of the bags here got me shears of the wither. Magic shears that tear that tear the leaves from trees with cold. Are these unlimited use shears? These are unlimited use shears. That's cool. Hello. That's really cool. I just got these out of a loot bag. I don't even know which one. Uh, which one did it come out of? Uh, I guess they're available in all tiers of loot bag. Well, that's pretty awesome. Hello, magic shears. I like you. I like that you exist. I like everything about you. That is cool. I like it a lot. I like it a real lot. All right, no more no more leaves until which page of this has this in it? Because I want to be able to shift click this. That should be a lot of plant matter. Nice. That is awesome. Super cool. Why do I even have a stone axe on me? I thought I threw all my stone axes in there. I might have got that from a loot bag and just didn't notice. I'd like a few more saplings just to be a little bit less nervous about things, but we should be fine. Feels like saplings are a little less frequent from these, but that's okay. We'll be fine. All right, uh, so I just want to show you guys that cool thing that I got, which was exciting to me. Um, I had no idea that was infinite durability. I mean, I assumed because it had the word wither in it that it was some kind of cool gadget, but like, wow, nice. Already broke my cactus sword. Nice. Uh, but I've become accustomed to it. Now it's leveling up, but I don't seem to be getting stats from it. Like usually it says, you know, more damage or more something, right? Um, am I getting modifiers? I do have five modifiers, so that's cool. So maybe I get a new modifier every time I level up? I'd have to go look and see how many modifiers I had from the get-go. But uh, it's kind of nice. All right, uh, quests. We haven't looked at quests in a few minutes, so why don't we do that? Because uh, I've just spent some time killing things. Uh, I've got a decent-ish amount of gunpowder, plus I have seven catalyzing glands, which I can turn directly into gunpowder or gas tears in the event that we need to, uh, which is cool. And gas charm fragments. So those things are used to make the gas charms. Neat, 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 neat. Creeper charm fragment, touch of Midas. Yeah, reliquary adds some cool things, as I recall. Um, cool. So if I need more gunpowder desperately, I can, you know, I can do that. But quests, uh, I haven't even opened my quest book for a bit. So let's do that. Um, so we completed you, and we completed you, and we completed Tertius, right? We got that guy taken care of. So let's open Waterstone as usual. I'm getting tired of getting Waterstone and explosive heavy snowballs. Okay then, afraid to even do anything with those. Um, I'm assuming that I need to continue through these quests because I've yet to open up another thing that allows me to get into anything else. Basic farming and automation. Maybe that's the BFAA quest that some things are gated behind. Um, mystical flowers, I assume would be soon. So uh, what should I work towards? Um, we could continue along this path, right? Um, and, and knock out some of these quests. So soul sand actually might be done. I have no idea how long this takes to actually do, but we got soul sand, so that's uh, cool. Yay, and we got a gold coin! Not 100% sure, but I think I can turn that into gold at some point. I can use it for power. That seems to be about it. Cool, so soul sand's done. Nice. Uh, blaze rods. While it may be a void, you can use the nether for making gold farms, but most importantly for obtaining blaze rods. Uh, from blazes, which only spawn in the uh, nether rack. Okay, so I guess it wants me to visit the nether and then get blaze rods. I could probably manage to do that. And I've got some fire resistance going on. And don't I have some kind of bauble that like protects me from lava? That protects me from lava. That doesn't protect me from fire. Um, but that seems reasonably doable. Uh, and I should really look at getting a better source of food. Because um, while I have food options, um, I don't have a great source of food. Um, 
I, I've, I've got something by way of food. Like, potatoes actually are kind of terrible. Uh, and I know we have Pam's in here and a couple other things, so maybe I should be looking towards doing that a little better. I mean, obviously I have plant matter, right? And I can just grow tons of food, and that's not a problem. It's not that I don't have access to food. Um, it's that the food that I got was not as good as I had hoped it would be. So, uh, I also, by the way, got melon seeds. So I should probably look at making dirt soon. Um, and getting melons as well as pumpkins because I'm sure that there's stuff that needs those at some point Cool, so the nether we shall go that sounds cool. And I think I've already got the obsidian, right? Um, so what's the smallest nether portal you can possibly make to Google? So I'm gonna actually just do the usual Because um, obsidian's not really hard to come by I don't think um, Well, I mean not the usual but like a, a compactish one, right? So like two by three Three, does that sound good? Two by two tall? I think I can do two by two tall and it would work, right? A smart man would be testing this off camera to make sure he doesn't look stupid. But, where's the fun in that? Does this work as another portal? Didn't I just check to see if I had flint on me? I do. Cool. Maybe not. Okay, be right back. There we go. That'll do. Cool. Uh, and since we're gonna try and be smart about this, I want to make sure not to walk off the edge, maybe? Does that sound like a smart idea? So I should be able to put... I'm gonna put this away, because this is the only pickaxe. I should have saved him a little bit better. Um, but, whatever. So I'm just gonna put this here. So that way I don't accidentally walk through it, right? Boom. And then we can get to the nether. Hooray, hopefully. Now it says they only spawn on netherrack blazes, right? Um, so what I should do is build something of like an encased, yay, the nether. Um, an encased area. So let's expand out in here and build something of a blaze spawner. Now I have to assume that blazes have the same spawn rules as um, as, as other hostile mobs, which is 24 blocks from the player, right? So I don't know what XZ coordinate I'm at or in, even what direction I'm going. So where were you at? You seem to be actually pretty darn ideal. So that just says go out to like negative 100 and we should be good, right? And that would be cool. So let's get some let's get some netherrack and a little bit more cobble, uh, which I'll need. Yeah, we're gonna need more cobble. We're getting to that point. I've been not farming cobble well. I'm doing a bad job of doing that. Uh, I might have some netherrack in here. Uh, I might want a little bit more netherrack. Uh, let's get a little bit more. Do I have blaze dust handy? Or do I just need a gunpowder? One gunpowder and eight cobble is that effectively makes eight netherrack. And then I'll put netherrack in there, and then we'll be cool. Good, I had enough. I didn't even check <laughs> to see if I had enough. You're going to need more power, though. And by power, I mean heat. And yes, I know I'm wasting... Have you seen how much wood I have? Cool. All right, so you're good. Netherrack, we have a good amount of... I'm going to get a bit more cobble via mining, so we'll be back in a few minutes once I've done this for a while. Sneaky Evolved Enderman. Super sneaky. Quest updated. Infinite range. What? Cool. I completed an infinite range quest, infinity booster card, which apparently drops off Enderman. So there you go. Totally by mistake. I do want to bring some food with me. Just to be safe. All right, uh, so I'm gonna extend out this bridge to right around um, negative 100 on the Z. Right, because we're at right now like negative 24. So I'd like to be, you know, right here is negative 24, right? So if we bump this guy out to negative 100, that's like perfect. 
uh, in terms of mob spawning range. So like, let's just do this because it'll probably be easier. Right, and then let's build like, I don't know, like a little three by three. Like, I guess it would be smart to build this in a way that's kind of like my mob spawner back home, where there's like a wall around some netherrack. Uh, but I want to make sure like I can easily get in there. And it obviously has to be made, made out of things that can't be combusted. Um, I mean, I could just like go in there swinging and we'll see how it goes. And then if I need to turn it into like a proper spawner at some point, I can. So like five by three, sound cool to anybody? Uh, so then what we'll probably want, some kind of gate to get in there. Can gates light on fire? I don't know. I don't know nothing about this game. Ah, uh, gate, 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 gate. Like, we could have a gate, right? That just chills there. I don't know if this can actually light on fire or not, uh, but we're going to learn pretty quickly. Cool. Um, and then we'll probably just want some half slabs at this point. I might need more half slabs. So I'm prepping with this. Aw. I was hoping to reclaim that. So like... This kind of. And then like this. I'm winging this. I've never made another uh, farmer before for blazes. Never. So I have no idea what I'm doing. And he doesn't need to be three blocks tall, right? So I could just end him here. I'm going to place that just so I have something to build off of. Well, yeah, you can be there for now. It's just a temporary. And yes, I know I have a builder's wand, but not as useful for this kind of build as you would think. Now it'll be useful. Actually, technically, I can save. And the reason I'm putting a roof on is not for darkness, uh, but to prevent them from getting out. Like, I don't want them flying away. I want them to spawn in here and not be able to escape. Right? Does that look reasonable? For what might be... Like, they shouldn't be able to get out of there, right? Hey, look! Zombie pigmen. They spawned 200 blocks away. So in theory, we might get some dudes spawning in there. Let's come back in five minutes and see if that happens. So I think I'm going to say that I did things a little bit wrong here. Um, so let's, let's do a few things differently. Um, first off, I probably don't want things spawning on top of the cobblestone up there. If I can avoid it. And I can, so let's do so. Um, can I vein mine you? Kind of. So you're going to be, and if I F7 this, or F4 it, whatever it is, for, for whatever reason F4 does something, they don't have permission to do. Okay, so that looks better, right? So I'm basically gonna half slab this in the opposite way that I've already done it. So instead of having 
that, right, we're going to half slab the bottom th half of things. Big men, please. Like, I kind of want to kill you to get gold, and I kind of want to not anger the pig men that are also here. So I'm going to knock you off because you're in my way. And then more of you will spawn, I promise. Cool. So that'll be a half slab there. And then we half slab there. So basically rebuilding what I just built, but in the opposite way so that mobs can't spawn. Zombie pigmen, for that matter, can't spawn on top of it. So the only valid spawning locations um, that are going to be here. And I wonder if you jump into the void in the nether, if it does the same like fall through the world thing. Right? That would be cool. This should be valid, right? So now there's no spawning on the sides of this building. Technically, this is probably not necessary. But aside from not having enough cobble for things, it probably doesn't hurt. And I really just want to make sure that things are built properly because I don't know if like my overworld spawner i'm going to be getting a lot of use out of this or not it might be like oh i got blaze rods but whoop de do because i can turn gunpowder into blaze or um oh i need blaze rods in a plenty and now i have lots of them kind of thing right um plus you have a cool looking sword i kind of want your sword looks like you have a diamond sword can i get your sword buddy old pal old chum yep anger you anger you Angered, angered. Oh, I didn't get a sword. How about this guy? Did he fall off the edge, I presume? Alright, back in a few minutes when hopefully Blaze is spawned. So they do a good job of spawning zombie pigmen. Which drop gold, obviously. Which is nice. And sulfur, apparently. Yay. Uh, but nothing doing yet. Waiting for blazes. Alright dudes, I've been here for like 20 minutes. I'm giving up. Hey guys, come here for a sec, would you? I mean, at least we got something out of this. I mean, they're dropping stuff. I don't know. Come back later, maybe there'll be a little bit of luck. I don't know. Though I did get molten cores from loot bags at some point, and I'm pretty sure if I do this... Oh, that's magma cream. Hold on. Two of them get me blaze rods. Perfect. Wow, what luck. Hey! <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Take that, Minecraft RNG. Uh, molten cores from uh, bags at some point. Got me what I needed. Sweet. All right, cool. Um, quest complete, another, another Lexica Britannia. Hooray, I need two of those for some reason. Uh, glowing water, harms on dead enemies. That sounds kind of cool. Um, you're a gem. Doo -doo -doo. You can go in there with that stuff. And uh, hey, quest complete. All right, good deal. Uh, claim my reward. There's something else I want to check out too. Mmm, donut. Um, Let's track out this thing. Magmified stone when touching crystal fluid generates cobblestone. Maybe there's some nifty way to automate that so I don't have to mine over there anymore because I'm getting low on cobble. Uh, I do have uh, some crystallized fluid, right? Thing, not a problem, right? That's crystal fluid. Let's get magmified stone. All right, I'm not sure how you're supposed to do this, but I might be able to pull this off courtesy of loot bags. Let's see. So I need alchemical coal, which is coal and gunpowder. Not a problem. Smooth stone. Uh, and liquid magma, uh, which I need four magma cream for, and that's literally the only option to get it. And magma cream, let's see, I have a way to do this. I just have no idea how to get any kind of slime ball. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I can get slime balls. 
Ah, snow and plant matter get you a slime ball. Okay, cool. I don't think I have to do that, though, because I have these guys. Sweet. So that, and I can get blaze... I'm going to leave my blaze rods because it's easy enough to get this. And then I need... Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I'm going to need two sets of this. Oot. Uh, and then I combine these guys to get this. And then I get this. And you get so coal and three gunpowder and coal. I don't know if I do I have any coal? If I have some coal, if not, I know I can make it. I do have some coal. Sweet. And we've got that awesome tertius. So it should get us lots of alchemical coal. Beautiful. And uh, let's let's burn a little bit. Cause uh, I don't know if I'm gonna want more than one of these, but I'm I'm making it now. So let's do it. So one, two. Did I just have smooth stone on me somewhere? We'll get some. One and one. One, two, three, four, five magnified stone. Woot, quest complete. All right, so claim that doohickey. This is Zoea, whatever that is. Type 11. Oh, it's from X-Tones. Hey, I remember that mod. I haven't seen X-Tones in a while. Sweet. All right, so I don't know how this works. Uh, so we're going to find out. Uh, like right now-ish. Well, yeah, I'll let you do that. Um, let's do this. I don't really know how this works. So in theory, this should spill down the hole. So do I place this next to it? Nope. Do I place it here? Oh, hello, what was that? Did you hear something? Am I crazy? Oh, hello. Cool. Ah. Okay. Oh. 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 I get you. I see how you work. Alright, so check this out then. Come with me, sir. Um. That makes sense. Alright, I can do this. You ready? Check this out. Uh, I can... Do this with this. Guess I only needed four, uh, a few of these anyway. Um, man, I spent all this time making the super fancy thing. Um, I don't need it anymore. Uh, drawer. Drawer, please. Uh, you go here. No. Go in the right spot. Go where I'm clicking you. I clicked up here. Thank you. Right? Um, and then we could put one, two, three, four. But I don't want mob spawns happening. And this? Tell me that works. It's slow. But I think it'll generate four at a time. I mean, it's something. That works. That's an automated gobble gen. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now, I mean, it did say adjacent to. I wonder if it'll work on top as well. I have no idea if this will work. Can't hurt to try. May or may not work. But I'll take it. We'll keep an eye on it for a little bit. I don't know if that one on top actually works. I mean, it's technically adjacent. It may or may not be checking for that. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's really doing much, though, does it? 
it's slow, but I mean, it's it's automated. So I mean, like I walk away, I come back, and I have a cobble. So like I'll take it. Sweet. All right. So uh, hey, automated cobble gen. That's cool. I feel more comfortable handling the flint hatchet. FYI, alchemical coal smelts 15 items. So that's cool. And you get a lot of it if you're doing the 5x multiplier. All right, so let's wrap up the episode here. Uh, really good progress today. Uh, definitely got a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, got to the nether. Automated cobble gen? Yes, please, because I'm tired of doing that. Really, I'd love to be able to auto automate like the, the mob farm, but I literally just now messaged the mod pack author, and I'm like, so there's no way to do that before um, the chapter of automation, right? And he's like, yeah, you shouldn't be able to. And if I can, uh, then it's not intended and he would fix it. So, hey, yeah, I stacked a cobble while I wasn't looking. Sweet. All right, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and we will, uh, I guess, let's see, hold on. He also mentioned something else. Ah, okay, so see how this thing has like a little crown on Tertius? Um, that apparently tells me that that's one of the quests along with the nether that requires me hey to unlock mystical flowers cool look at that sweet so i can claim that and that unlocked the mf stage the mystical flowers stage so what was originally gated and unable to be made because it needed mf um like um like magnet rings for example um one of these things was gated behind MF, I think, at some point, somewhere. Uh, but hey, that's cool. That's cool. Um, so basically, when you see this symbol, see the green behind it? It's like a little crown instead of just a square. When you complete those two quests in the mode that I'm in, that's what unlocks the next tier. That's cool. So I need to do unlock tools AOE to get to the next chapter unlock, which might be basic farming and automation. Cool. Um, so basically, if I beeline to this, then we will definitely unlock the next chapter, and I don't have to worry about some of the other things. That's cool. Hey, guess what's next? <sighs> it's Batania time. What up? All right. So, Devil 20 sending off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. In order to progress beyond the chapter of Batania, we're going to need a Conjuration Catalyst, apparently. Um, and, wow, requires Elven items. So I have to get all the way through Batania. I have to get the Elven Gate open. Interesting. Alchemy Catalyst. Cool. Speedy Mana Transfer. Lots of things that I'm going to have to do. Portal to Elfheim. Elven Items. Conjuration Catalyst. So once I get a Conjuration Catalyst going, um, then... Wow. That's, a, that's cool, though. I like that. I kind of like it. I really have to progress pretty heavily through Batania in order to unlock the next chapter which sounds cool. All right. Hope you guys enjoying the series so far. We'll come back next time. Take it easy.